One more. All of those fingers rotate to the back and then lift. Breathing in, up, up, and over, and down. Quick final shoulder rolls, just warm and wrap into the rotator cuff. Well done. And then one big shoulder roll and down. Straight into our squats. Reach and Two more. And then we've got our little side kick and down, uh, push it up. And why do we go? Stretch those knees out, push them out, hands in front, ready? Down. Two, push the knees out. Keep scooping in through centre. One more. Into our lunges, turning sideways. So focus your gaze on something. Ready? Lower and Well done, we're ready for our jumps. Hold it all in together. Up, in, two. And a little quarter turns. One more of Elbow stay up, crisscross, lower, up and bring that shoulder forward, lower, across. One more. And then we got our pulses, we're going low. Okay, check your alignment. Pull in, raise one heel, and slow. Two, three, four, five. Switch, stay low, 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 low. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Up, back kick to finish. Lower, push it back. Remember that sort of pop up through the head of the crown? Feel clearer space. Push that back. then lower together. Rising up and lower. <laughs> Pause, turn the hands to the back. This time we rise forward, but we push back with the arms. And we do a little combo. Push back and hold. Bring the weights forward. Push them back. Then lower. Push back. Weights forward. And back. And 
lower. Good work, team. Push back. Bring them forward. And back. And lower. One more here. Push back. Forward. Back. And lower. Oh, turn the weights around to the front again. So we're going to sink down through those knees. And as we take one leg, let's focus on one leg first. And as we stretch out, we're going to touch the weights in. And out. Stay with the same side, faster for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just becoming like hot pilates, a little stretch slow, <laughs> but it's quite delicious feeling warm. We'll cool down once we lie down anyway. Different kind of heat. Ready for fast? Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hurrah! Pop one ball down. We just need one for our cheerleading squad. Up by the ear. We're going to raise with the opposite leg and uh, push it up. Three more. Push. 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 We're going to try and keep the knee up. And just the arm keep going. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, hold it together. One. <laughs> just stuck through there. Singles. One, two, opposites. Three, four, <laughs> five. Awesome. We're going to raise it up. Just the ball. One, two, three. Four, five. Yes, that's what we're talking about. We're going to come on down. So we're going to put one ball on either side of us. So we can reach and find the way we set ourselves up. We're long through the back of the neck. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath. Open across the chest. We're going to lift. Take the hips further from the shoulders. Find your headlights. Find your centre. Be aware of that back of the rib cage. And all that positioning cues, using the mat to help us align. Can you put the balls beside your hips and fingertips on top of the balls? We're going to curl forward through the upper body, pushing the ball down towards those heels. And then lower the head down. Now you're welcome to have a hand behind the back of your head here. Or just one arm pushing. So if you want to give support to your head. Well done. We're going to come up and pause. Curl forward, pause. Raise one leg and lower. Raise the other leg and lower and roll down. So we're going to repeat that. This might be where you want to have a hand behind your head. Curl up, take one leg up and switch and lower. Two to go. Curl up, hold, lift, lift. And one set, let's go forward, up, hold, lift, and lift, and lower. Now the ball's down here, just slightly convenient, so we're going to take and put them under our feet. So just wriggle them around. Just like we talked about on the roller, so your feet are perched right up on the top of the ball. Let your toes drop down the far side and your heel drop down this side. Get that stretch across your metatarsals. It can feel crampy like. But just allowing all the front of the toes, the front of the long parts of the toes to open out. So hands to your hip bites. Relax up the shoulders. We'll just do some single knees. So we're going to open one knee to the side. Keep your hips level. Bring it back. Other side open. Smooth control and bring it back. So a couple more singles. If you want, you can float your elbows. Increase that challenge. Keeping level through our centre. We'll do 
one more here. And then four doubles. Open. Well done. We're just going to keep our feet perched up on top of here because it adds a little dynamic to the feet. It's a little balance challenge. We're going to use one leg, take it up to tabletop. And instead of it tapping the weight, we're going to do a different little pattern. So two extensions, reach long and back in. Reach long and back in. Two opens to the side and in. Side. And in, and then think of the knee circling, two circles in one direction, and then reverse, and then that foot finds the, uh, the ball, other uh, leg, lift, two extensions, one, two, two openings to the side, and, and two circles round. And reverse. Back to the first side. One more of these each side. Lift that leg. Extend. And in. Push. And two sides. Open. Two circles. And reverse. And foot down, once more round, last round, extend, and push, and then two to the side, and push, and circles, and reverse, and well done. Let's bring the ball up to the hands. Both of them. So we're staring at the hands. Keep check on these elbows. Elbow stay in place. We're going to lower one weight down the side of the edge of the forehead and up to ceiling. Other weight lower. And lift. Singles. Keep it nice and smooth. Keep control of that weight. After the single, we've got eight doubles. Double arms lowering together and up. Lower and up. Two to go. Well done. This time, gripping the balls allow our elbows to come out to the side, off the mat, and then we push to the ceiling. We're going to do that reversing with a bridge. As the elbows come down wide, lift up those hips, and as we lower the hips, push the weights back up. Open, lift the hips, and all up. Open, push. Four more. And one. Well done. We're going to hold both these balls on top of the breastbone. So just stacking them, holding them into the centre here. You can probably put one hand across both and get a hand behind your head if you wanted to support the neck. We're going to curl forward, so we're having to lift this weight. We're looking down through the legs. We're going to extend one leg and bring it in. Stay up here, extend the other leg and bring it in. Lower the head, three more of those. Curl up, hold this weight, lift and reach. And in, and push, and in, and lower. Curl up, and extend one leg, and and push, and in, and lower. The weight's coming down the side of that again. Fingertips on top. 
line dancing time. We're going to curl forward. Again, if you do the hand behind the head, line dance, lift one leg, scoop, lift the other, and lower, and lower, lower the head. Three more. Let's go. Curling up. Hold, lift, lift, lower, lower, roll down. Two more rounds. Curl, hold, lift, lift, lower, lower, and down. One more here. Curl, lift, lift, lower, and lower, and down. You can just get the weight through the arm. We're going to go hands to ceiling but no weights because I don't like the weights going past our head. Just jams into the shoulder and neck. We're not adding any extra tension in there. Redirect your focus on your centre, holding strong. Tuck that ribcage in and extend away. One leg and the arms. And come in to switch legs, reach away. And in. Pushing out through the heel. And in. And reach. And in. Push. And reach. Pause here. Take a breath. So we can stick to that pace. We're going to go 20 faster. Ready? Strong sensor. Go. And go. And go. And go. And reach. 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 Push. 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 Make sure we're breathing out. And exhale. And And last four. Four. And three. And two. And one. Well done. Bring your knees in. Just massage the small of the back. But also, we're going to lose our neutral spine. Going imprinted spine. Allow the back to contact the mat. Our knees are up. Our hands are to ceiling. And our back is scooped and contacting the floor. So we're going to do our dead abs. Let the arms drift a little bit past the head, both arms together. Just as long as you can keep that low back connected, keep that rib cage tucked in, and bring the arms back up. Now it's the legs turn. Let the knees drift away a little, keeping contact. Rib cage tucked in, use your exhale, and then bring the knees back in. With the arms reaching away. And in, and the legs. And exhale, arms. And legs. One more, arms. Just legs. Pause, breathe, curl it into the chest if you need to, just have a little recovery time. And we'll try to connect the two together. Arms and legs drifting away from centre at the same time, true dead end. So, find the floor, tuck it in, ready? Drifting away. Exhale, so that rib cage is tucking in, holding in the centre. Three more. Last one. And well done. We're going to curl ourselves up to sitting and whoosh. Well done. So, pop the balls on the front side. We'll take a lie down. So we want to find that position. We take one weight nice and close for us. So we're ready. We've got our bent legs push away the top hip. So the waist is long, the hips are stacked, shoulders nice and low, and the weight's going to do our core to turn. So we're strengthening into the back of the rotator cuff, lifting the weight, core to turn. Four more.
Well done. Extend one leg, top leg only. Right. Another four with the arm in the same position. So as the arm lifts, the leg lifts a little. And low. Two. Three. Four. Well done. And then just four more with just the leg. Four. Three. Two. And one, because now we're in torpedo. Wriggle longer, wriggle it out. So we've got another 10 with just the arm here. Legs are connected, centers on, glutes are in, and left quarter turn. Now it's just a little baby muscle. It gets tired. Here we go, last one. Four. Can we bring this weight all the way to the ceiling now? Ready? Bring it up. Okay, well done. And can we lower it down by keeping a balance in the legs? Done. And then can we bring it up again? And can we bring it down slightly further in front of us? Yes, can we bring it up again? And lower. And lift. And two more. And down. Last one. You can do it without the weight. If you're starting to feel that work in the arm. Can we put the ball on top of the leg? Now you can do this without the weight as well. We're going to curl forward, pushing that weight towards the knee. And low. Curl, push. And low. Got four more. Curl, reach. One more. And well done indeed. Curl it up. Get a nice big stretch out for these arms. So side openings. Arm to ceiling. Take a good breath in. Exhale and open, open, open. We did do arm openings last week because we were on the roller. So give yourself that nice chance to unwind. Using that breath, breathing in, fill up the lungs, stretch the ribs, to then exhale. So we can go a little, a little deeper, around a little more. One more full one to that side. Well done. Right, spin it round to the other side. 
Just there's that access to one weight again. Just keep it tucked in with us. So we'll just nail this positioning. Length through the top of the waist, stack the hips nicely, draw in that center, shoulder nice and low. We're gonna pick up that weight, we've got a little quarter turn. So our elbows just resting on top of the waist. Two more. Well done, we're gonna extend that top leg. Four more with the leg lift. Weight down, four more leg lifts. One, two, three, and four. Into torpedo. Wriggle, 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 wriggle. We're gonna do the arm again. We've got another 10, so shoulders nice and low. And lift and lower. And if you start to feel too much tension creeping up into the shoulder, you can ditch the weight and just go with the arm. Well done. Full arm up to the ceiling, up to the top, hold these legs active, pull them through the center, lower, 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 and lift, 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 exhale to lower down, see if you can take it further in front of you, can we get it off the mat, reaching, reaching, and up, we're aiming, we're going for a full arm stretch, it's our goal, and up. Up, couple more. And lift. Go, legs, go. Keeping it active, keeping grounded. And lower. Ho, ho, ho. Well done. Curl up into a ball. Get to stretch that arm right up. Reach to the ceiling, breathe it in. Exhale. Open, open. that nice big deep breath again while we stay open. Breathing in, in, in. Fill up the lungs, stretch out the ribs. Oh, exhale. <clears throat> open that stretch. Yeah, we'll come up on all fours. Pop your weights beside you. We've got them when we're ready. We'll start with a pattern, just to get us into a nice...
place, alignment, and set up here. Shoulders are nice and low, pulling through the centre. We're going to do one leg extension out the back, keeping our table nice and steady. As the knee comes through, I'm going to swish the mat and under, and then swish and back up. Swish under, swish up, two more. Swish. And that swish is giving us all that feedback that our hips are level, our table is still steady. And then the knee by the knee, four to the side. One, two, three, four. Let that leg come down, four little push ups. One, two, And to the other side, one leg, extend it back, and then the knee swishing the mat as it comes through. Back out again. Through. Out. Good swishing sounds. Swish. Swish. And the knee by the knee, opening to the side. Four. Three. Two. One. Four push-ups. Two, three, four. Nicely warmed up our triceps. Grabable. Elbow by the waist. We're going to push back with the weight and then lower it. So it's just the arm. Push. With the opposite leg now. Sliding back. And in. Push. Done. Good smooth motion. And now with the same side leg, reaching open to a side stretch. Come down, tap the mat, we open again. And up. And tap the mat. We lift. And one more. And lift. And down. To the other side. Elbow by the waist, just the arm first for four. Push back. Push. With the opposite leg and slide. Same side leg, reach and open. Come down and tap. Up and open. Down and tap. Lift and reach. Down. Tap. Up and reach. Down. Pop the ball down. Just stretch back. Release the wrist. This is a combo of holding the weight and the pressure into the mat. Definitely adds up. Okay, so we. I like to add in a little bit of fast twitch fibre work too. So we'll go into our claw like cat shape. We're going to catch our balance up. And we'll use our opposites. We'll launch up, catch your balance. Allow the little teeter tot wobbly wobblies. And then claw it back in and down. So challenge yourself. Launch. Hold. Keep reaching with that leg, reaching with the arm. And then clawing it in. So we're looking to find that stability. Find that control, hold. And down. And. Three more. Reach. release your back, give yourself a wobble wobble. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up and we're going to do some circles with our knees. So again, not to wobble our table too much, that lunch falls off. We're just going to pop 
that leg off the ground just a little. And I want it to look like a pendulum. That's the right word to help you describe what we're doing. Four circles in one direction. And then reverse it. Well done. Pop that leg down. Other leg. Circles. And reverse. Go back, repeat that once more each side. Just popping that leg off, keeping everything nice and still. Reverse. Final side, circles. Lovely strong positioning through shoulders where we push in, lifting that breastbone. We'll turn out over one foot and then out over the other and then in and in. Push it out, out, in, twice more, out, out, in, in, and out, out, in. And and bringing it back up on all fours. That was a very small rest for the wrists, I know. But this time, so we're going to step out. We'll do four more, but on a higher level. Out, out, in, in, and out, out, in, in. Twice more. Out, out, in, in. Final. Out. Out, in, and in. Well done. Make yourself a narrow base. Wriggle it in. We're going to slide the foot up. We're going to reach up the fingers. No weights for this one. Lifting that leg off if we can for balance. And then we're going to take those fingers past the head. I want you to lift this top rib cage up. So push through the lower arm. And we're over. Breathe in if that helps to flare the top ribs out. And then we can come in. We'll try that to the other side. Open. So you can take the foot straight from the floor or lift it off once you feel ready. We take our time. So we're going to feel that top rib cage opening, that big stretch through the body as we come around. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to take that nice, maybe painfully slow rhythm to the next side as well. So same again. Take your time. Up onto the side, reaching those fingers. Squeeze your bottom to the front of the hip and open. Then pushing from the floor. Flare that ribcage open. Yes, yes. We'll do one more. Reach. Catch that balance first. And then lean. Pushing up from the floor. Well done. All right. We're going to think about opposites. We're going to walk our opposites to the top of the mat. And we walk back. And forward. And back. And we can go faster. Once more. Well done. Bring ourselves right back into the centre. We're going to come down to these elbows once more. Again, making sure that we push, activate and lift into the chest. We're going to slide one leg back. We're going to do that combination we did before. And it almost is linking like a bit of a circle. So we're going to push back first. Let the knee come and graze the mat, and then it comes out to the side. Tap to the mat, pushing back. Reach. And tap, and side. Two more. Push it back. And side. And push back. And side. Other leg. Whoa. 
Reset the upper body, strong elbows. Push back and into side. Push back in side. Two more. Push in side. In. Push in side. In and stretch back. Kind of giving a stretch into those glutes, which is quite nice. Well done, well done. I'm going to take us back lying on our backs again. Because with the weight, there's the opportunity to do a little bit more there. We're going to swing it back round. Nice to give ourselves a little break for our centre. We're going to find our weight. We're going to bring them up above our head once again. Give your whole body a wriggle wriggle. So just allowing that positioning back of the rib cage to the mat. Yep, there's my centre. And everything is in place. We're going to curl forward first. We're going to curl forward, reaching towards the knees. And then we're going to hold it back down. Those weights and lifting back up to the ceiling. Curl, tap. And lower. Curl, tap. And lower. Curl, tap. Lower. Can we change these feet so we're on the tippy toes? Right? So all I've done is lift your heels. Let's see how it feels different to you. Curl forward and lower. Apart from the obvious, it makes your knees higher and easier to reach. <laughs> change the muscle play for the leg. One more. And lower. Put the weights back down beside you, but we will have one hand behind the head and your heels down. We give ourselves a chance to do the obliques again and nice to break up that oblique work from before. So we're going to curl up and over. So as we come over, we can push that weight down towards that heel. The low shoulder stays close to the mat and then we lower back and control it back to starting position. Up and over, curl, 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 reaching the ball. And lower, 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 lower. Up and over. Down we come. Up and over. Down we changing sides. Other hand behind the head. Other ball should be in place. We're ready. Up and over reaching the ball, it's just giving us that extra juice into the obliques, giving us the direction of reach and down. Three more up and over and down. Up and over. And one more, one more. Up and over. And down, we've got one weight in our hands. Under one leg, and lower. Under the other, and lower. Lift, if you want, we can curl forward with the upper body. A little easier to reach these legs. Two, three. After this one, maybe we can scissor switch. Two, three. So always reaching this weight out in front, safer positioning for our shoulders. Faster legs, yes, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower down, breathe. So we can skip forward to the good part. We don't have to do all that layering up prep work. So we'll come up and do this as a switch. We'll do eight slow, eight fast. Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I can just feel the electric enthusiasm. <laughs> Maybe it's thunderstorm outside. We're going to curl forward, tuck in the ribs, under one leg, scissor switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Faster now. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. And lower three. Right, we're going to do two more rounds.
pounds, just to warn you. <laughs> you can ditch the weight and you can just tap your knees, all right? You can certainly and you will hold your hands behind your head and just get the legs to do the work. So you've got loads of options. I'll keep queuing for this one, but you can certainly pull on any of those other guys. Ready? Curl forward and so this is a switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down and breathe. Oh, one last round. Piece of cake. Flying through it. Really steady. Curl. Slow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Faster now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ball down and stretch your body out nice and long. Roll the legs in and out. Reach through your fingertips. Form a nice tight fist and then take the fingers nice and long again. Just being kind to our hands because they've been holding onto those weights for most of the class. We're going to roll ourselves up to sitting from here. So we're going to bring arms to ceiling, curling forward, reaching up, keep tall, keep tall, and then come forward. Moist if you're in cold weather. Give your legs a little wriggle. We are going to roll down and roll up again. Up tall, up tall, and then coming back off the sitting bones. Use your hands if you need a little support, but otherwise take your time. Coming down, using that tummy, we're rolling, and then we're reaching out. Enjoy the reach out before we come back up. Arms to ceiling, let's go. Forward, lift, 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 and into that stretch again. Well done. We're going to bring ourselves up into standing. You want to cross your legs as a way of getting ourselves up. And we're going to turn around. We're just going to stand at the end of the mat. Just do a couple of roll downs just to loosen ourselves. Breathe it in. Exhale, melting down. Rounding down. Rolling. Bend those knees at any point. Just allowing the upper body to hang, arms to hang, tap the floor. Up we come, reboot, tail down, pull into through centre. And stack, 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 stack. Pull and breathe, we'll do one more roll down. And rounding. Rolling. Forward. And back up, tail down. Stack, 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 stack. Well done. So we're going to step forward to the middle of the mat. We're still standing sideways. Combining with that lunging we did before. So we're going to take a step forward in front. And you can tap two and then step behind. But the same legs doing the work. Once you feel set up, see if you can leap past that, go straight behind. But there's that centre tap there. Focus on the spot. <laughs> so you'll feel with the hands on your hips, but the head might stay shiny and full. We're able to keep that line. And it's just those hips moving. Three, two, and one. Should we try the other foot? Four, forward. Back. You can always step two or launch straight into balance. Three, two, one. Keep your hands on the hips, back to shoulder width apart. We're going to sink the knees.
knees, raise the heels, lift tall and lower. Knees, toes up, lower. Knees, toes up, lower. Knees, toes up. Faster, knees, toes up, down. Knees, up, down. Knees, toes. Two more round. 